Good afternoon and welcome to my Backgammon channel. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to use XG to look at all the opening rolls in Backgammon. Now there are 15 opening rolls. You cannot start the game with a double and several of these rolls have variations depending on Gammon Go and Gammon Save match considerations. A Gammon Go score, for example, would be if you were trailing two away, one away in a Crawford game and winning the Gammon would therefore win the match. You might play a more aggressive or risky opening play that led to more Gammon wins. A Gammon Save score, alternatively, would be if you were leading one away, two away in a Crawford game and you only needed a point to win the match, so you might play more conservatively and take fewer risks. Now, some opening moves, some variations, do lead to more complicated positions and are sometimes used when playing against weaker players to force them into more difficult decisions. And we will also not look at any non-standard opening roles, though, of course, you may see some creative and unorthodox plays over the board when you play yourself. So let's get started. We're going to start with the higher rolls and then we're going to work down to the lower rolls. Now 6-5, there's only one way to play it and that is to run a checker 24 to 13. Here we bring one checker to safety, moving it two quadrants and we even have a name, we call this the Lover's Leap. Now the 6-4 is more difficult because there are three variations. The standard 6-4 is 24-18, to 13-9. Here we have good flexibility and also good connectivity between our checkers. If we wanted to win more gammons at a gammon go score, we would play 8-2. to two. 6 to 2 to make a second inner board point, hoping to trap green. This is a gammon go variation, and the gammon save variation of 6 4 is to simply run, which is also correct at DMP. We only get hit back with 11 shots, so we might get away with it. Now, 6 3, the correct play is 24 18, 13 to 10. This is always correct. You might occasionally see someone play 24 to 15 at a gammon save, but this is a small error on XG. Now 6-2, the standard play is 24 to 18, 13 to 11. We unstack the mid. And there is a gammon go variation on 6-2, where we play 13 to 5. Here we are fighting for the best points on our board. Here the 5 point, hoping to make it on a subsequent roll. It's usually correct at gammon go scores to slot the 5 point with certain rolls, which we will see. Now if you decided to play 24 to 16 with a 6-2, then this would be a mistake. Because here, green can hit us with any 4, plus double 2, and 3, 1. And also by hitting us here, green would have a checker in place to use to make inner board points on future rolls. So the running play is not correct with 6, 2. 6, 1, it's correct to make the bar point. 13, 7, 8, 7. It's a third best point on the board. And also, if you can make a point on your opening roll, you should do no exceptions. So now let's look at the fives. So 5-4, five, it's correct to play 24 to 20, 13 to 8. Here we are fighting for the advanced anchor, the golden point. If we make this on a future roll, we prevent green from blitzing us or trapping us behind a prime later in the game. So that is a value of the advanced anchor. And 5-4 also has a variation for gammon go where we play two checkers from the mid 
13 to 8, 13 to 9, reinforcing our 8 point and giving us some good spares, some builders to make inner board points. 5 3, we make the 3 point. 6 to 3, 8 to 3. It's not as good as a 5 point or a 4 point, but it's still a new inner board point. So making the 3 point is correct. 5 2, we play 24 to 22 and we play 13 to 8. This is a standard play. But there is a variation with Gam and Go where we play 13 to 8, 13 to 11. So here we have 6s, 1s and 3s all to make the 5 point. So lots of numbers will make the 5 point on future rolls. If we look at 5-1, the correct play is 24-23. 13, 8. This is a standard play, making the minor split. But this also has a gam and go variation where we play 13, 8, and then we slot from 6 to 5, much like the 6 2 opener. Here, by making this point, we're hoping to make a prime, trap green, and win more gammons. So now let's look at the fours. So four three. So the correct move is to play thirteen to nine with a four, and split through the back checkers with the three. So this is a standard four three, but again the gammon go variation is to play two checkers down thirteen nine thirteen ten, and you can see here we have great diversification of numbers to make the five point, the four point, or the bar point. Also, if we are hit by green on a fly shot, we ha have no problem re-entering with 35 rolls, and we get a lot of returns as well. So this is the standard 4-3 for a gammon go score. It's a more aggressive opener. If we look at 4-2, we must make the four point. It's the second best point to have. And for one, the standard play is 24, 23, 13, 9. But also there is a gam and go variation where we play 13 to 9, 6 to 5. And this also has a benefit of duplicating green's fours. So this is a gam and go for one variation. Now if we look at 3-2 it's correct to play 24 to 21, 13 11. The gam and go variation would be again to bring two down from the mid 13 10, 13 11 giving us again good checker distribution to make points faster. And 3-1, which is the best opening roll, you must make the five point. It's the best point to have. And by making this point alone, your game wing chances have increased by 10%. So 3-1, we make the five point. And the last move to consider is 2-1. And the 2-1, it's a close decision between playing 13, 11, 6, 5, which is a gam and go play. This leads to more gammons, the slotting play, as we've seen. Or instead playing 13, 11, 24, 23, which is more of a gammon save 2-1. But this 2-1, like some of the other roles, is sometimes a matter of style. You might be playing someone who's a more aggressive risk-taking player. So 2-1, it's a close call. Um, so there we are. I hope you saw some patterns in the opening rolls. Definitely worth remembering and to use over the board. Um, new videos every Wednesday on my channel. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it useful. See you next time. Bye-bye.